Mr. Page, you, you told us about your experience of getting on a plane and how difficult it is and when you got in your seat and your knees bumped up, et cetera. You know, we had, a, we had a bill we passed, the SEAT Act, to have the airline study getting folks off the airplane within 90 seconds, which is the rule they're supposed to abide by, and they didn't any people with disabilities on, in their test. Could that possibly be an appropriate test? And the reality is, if you're on that airplane, are you basically giving up for dead? Because how would you ever get off that airplane? Well, um, truthfully, they're supposed to give me an evaluation, um, uh, a conversation when I get on the plane about how to evacuate a person with a disability. Um, I've only had that um, evacuation conversation maybe two or three times uh, in the days that I've been flying. Um, you, you're, you're exactly right. Um, I'm not a 90-second person to get off the plane. Uh, the only way I can get on the plane is with the aisle chair. Uh, I'm six foot, over 200 pounds, and, um, and uh, all my muscles have atrophied due to spinal cord injury. So it would, it would, the only way for me to, to get off in a dignified way would be to be in assisted device. You've got more experience than any of us here about ADA and the needs for ADA. You go to a ball game, they've got seats for you, good seats behind home plate, and where you've got leg room, same thing at a concert hall. Are, is there any place that's as bad as airplanes for people with disabilities? <laughs> well, um, for ADA compliance, yeah, you're right. That's Title III public accommodations. You've got the ballpark. Um, you've also got transportation compliance under the ADA for all mass transit like Greyhound, uh, city buses, the subway, Amtrak. Uh, currently, right now, the, the airlines uh, are governed under a different law, the Air Carrier Access Act, which passed four years before the ADA. So that's why I'm advocating for uh, a standard of access for a path of travel to get on the plane uh, in a wheelchair. That way I would avoid the aisle chair, which is a lot of times where myself and people with disabilities encounter um, injury because you have to transfer on the slope of the jetway. Uh, as I mentioned, this aisle chair is a pretty precarious uh, device. Uh, it's tippy. Uh, and then the persons that have assisted me in the past um, they're used to pushing, truthfully, um, little old ladies from point A to point B, and then they stand up and walk on the plane. I'm a person, as I said, I'm six foot, 200 pounds, and uh, dead weight. So, thank you, thank you, sir. Ms. Pinker, let me ask you my final question. You, you heard Mr. Page's testimony. What can you tell us the airlines can or will do to help people like him who are veterans, who are injured, and have dif difficulty getting out? They're, they're dead if the, you don't do something about it. What can you do to make airplanes more, the seat sizes larger, the pitch better, the width better, to improve the passenger experience, but also the safety? Two parts to, to my answer. One, I, I want the committee to know we are committed uh, to doing a better job in making sure um, that um, folks with disabilities are able to travel safely and comfortably. Our CEOs very recently in the last couple of months publicly announced that they were recommitting to improving uh, wheelchair damage uh, issues. They're creating advisory boards at each of their company and inviting the disability community to be on those advisory boards. And they committed to frontline training of their employees. I think those three actions are, are critical and demonstrate our commitment. With respect to the, the seat size, uh, frankly, um, Congressman, for the A4A carriers, our seats are actually getting bigger. They're not getting smaller. Um, we're putting in bigger seats in the premium economy. Our smallest seats, which are on our regional um, planes, unfortunately, 50-seat planes are going away, which is not good for small community service. But as a result of those two trends, essentially, I would say, for our carriers, seats are actually getting bigger. Thank you very much. I would just suggest, I took a flight to Atlanta recently, and I was between two people who I guess you'd call Husky. You ought to find a way to just have one person in a, in a row with this Husky. I yield back. <laughs>